Ladies and gents, today we're talking about BS trading strategy, the type of strategy that your favorite guru is trying to sell you but actually doesn't work. So in this video, I'll break down the three worst one, but before doing that, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading and investing will be linked in the description. Let's get right in. So the first BS strategy we're gonna be going over is going to be the moving average crossover. You can put this strategy in front of any dumbasses and he's gonna understand what is going on, even if he doesn't know that it's a stock, a currency, or a bond, or an option, it doesn't matter. When the two moving average crosses, is going to be a buy or a sell signal. But there's a lot of issue about this strategy and you have to put yourself into perspective that if it's that easy, how easy is it to program and why are these big firms spending hundreds of thousands or if not millions paying these quant traders to develop strategy when this simple strategy could work so easily. So let's look at a very simple example that will break down why the strategy is BS, even if you think it works. So over here, we have a stock, we have Nvidia, and we can see that on this specific day, it seems like it was a very good trend day. And in the market, not every day is going to be a trend day. So when you consider that there's gonna be chop days, range day, and also reversal day, this becomes very hard. So let's take this as our first example. The stock made a big move up in the pre-market and now your crossover would have been right over here because you need to anticipate that it cross if you want to get the most edge. So you will short right over here and then take a massive spike against your position. After that, while it crosses somewhere over here that is probably on this candle, you would get short again. It makes a massive move. Next thing you know, if you're waiting for the next crossover, it's going to be on this candle over here. So you're going to take this big move and also then just break even. Then your next signal to short would have been right over here. You get short, you get a reversal. So then you would get short again right on this candle over here. And next thing you know, you get this bounce. Or even if you hold your position through this, then you would get stopped out over here. So when you put this into the aggregate of commission and also max loss and also risk of ruin, overall, before you catch this big trade, you're going to get so many false signal. And you can do the same thing on the daily chart or on the intraday chart. It doesn't matter. If there's too many signal to a strategy, it's going to fail. And something that's important to consider so if we have an example over here, stock gets back to VWAP, then it starts to get weak over here. The crossover would have been probably on this candle over here. So you decide to get short. Next thing you know, up, oh, we get a massive news piece and the stock is up so much against your position. When you're talking about moving average crossover, you have to discount any other things that can happen in the market and just consider the price action when in reality everything moves because of news by the way if you enjoyed the video so far don't forget to like and subscribe i also did link all the best tools for day trading and investing so let's get back to the video so the next bs we're going to talk about is going to be the strategy cheat sheet so this is quite funny when you go on x or twitter whatever you want to call it and you see these people post this cheat sheet and then they say Click the thread down below to know my favorite and so on and so forth. So when it comes to this cheat sheet, what is really missing is that if there's news on a stock, if there's some kind of correlation with some ETFs like a SPY or something like that, because even if the chart pattern looks perfect on your NVIDIA or Apple chart, if the SPY and the Q reverses, your trade is going to be gone. So this is the issue when you're trading stock without clear catalyst, clear momentum because of news or something that is happening with this stock, then you can try to implement these cheat sheet or these pattern because they might work or at least get a percentage of higher than 50%. If you take any random stock without news, without a catalyst, the algos unfortunately are going to get you or you're going to think that your strategy worked for a short amount of time then after maybe a month or two, you're going to realize that you're going to be break even or losing once again. So now let's talk about the next BS strategy that makes it so easy to sell a course because it just makes sense, but it doesn't work. So we're going to be talking about the Fibonacci strategy, Fibonacci retracement strategy. So when something makes a big move, you put your indicator and then you buy a certain level. You bought the first retracement over here at 32. 
and then you think you're a genius and next thing you know it barely bounces and it breaks you decide to move your strategy to not buying the 50 percent because why not if you liked it at 32 percent now you like it at 50 percent so you buy over here and next thing you know you think you're gonna make money and you get stopped out on this particular day here so now what you do right do you take this range or do you take this range over here which range do you really take that's the question right but why i think this is the worst it's because you can always change your starting and your end point at any moment in time so how can you define what is a good pullback or what is a good short level because you'll never know if you use the proper level which is the issue so my recommendation when it comes to trading strategy and i'm not perfect i lose money all the time but it's to really trade around news or significant macro event if you take a trade considering that there's going to be news on the stock so let's say a news came out and then you're buying some certain strategy or certain level from that news i think it makes a lot of sense if you're buying because the macro or you're shorting because the macro situation changed because the fomc or something like that and you find a chart pattern around that news or very short or very close to that news, I think it makes a lot of sense again. But if you're just trying to pick any random stock on any random day, you'll get random result. And then you're going to go on YouTube and try to find the next big strategy or buy the next big course to end up just paying these people and making them rich and losing your account at the same time. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy. Peace.